The bell rings, are you ready, are you sure? For music trivia, three rounds in store. It's head to head, who's going to war? Are you ready to settle the score? I said, are you ready to settle the score? Hey, hey! Welcome into another week of Settle the Score. I'm your host, Matt Knows, joined as always by the musical director, the one and only, Mr. Andy Merriweather. How are you, man? I'm good, thanks, Matt. How are you doing, mate? I'm trying to be as assured as possible because when I gave you the answer in pregame, you thought something was up, but I was just... Uh, <laughs> no, just because, how are just, you? And you're like, I'm fine. And I'm then fine, just kind of drifted off doing whatever you were doing. I was very distracted. Checking levels and all that jazz, but I was just like, oh, it doesn't seem like you're fine. Is everything all yeah. right? We had a little uh, therapy, but we're good. Yeah, it's all it, out. it works through some things. It's all good. <laughs> anyway, my bill is in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just and, yell my surname and it will get thrown to me in the street. Not a problem. No one will so get that. Special, nope. <laughs> <laughs> that was off-air discussion. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, we are excited for today's game. Uh, we have two brand new competitors. Uh, I had the pleasure of meeting one uh, in the not too uh, distant past, and he mm. was an absolute delight and said he'd love to come on and uh, knew the perfect player to play against. And I'm excited for both of them. Uh, before we bring them in uh, real quick, we have a fan show coming up in a couple weeks. So if you'd like to be a part of our fan show, you can enter in one of two ways. You can leave a comment over at youtube.com forward slash Matt Nost. If you're watching this right now, just drop us a comment in the bottom. The more comments you leave, the more times your name gets added into the hopper. Or you can like and retweet the tweet that I put out each week promoting the show. And uh, if you want to do both, just increases your odds overall. But we'll be drawing those names. And uh, by the time you're hearing this, about a week after you hear this one, um, so the day after next week's show drops is when we draw on those and we posting the winners on YouTube and on Twitter. So we, uh, we look forward to having that, uh, next batch of two fans on the show for sure. And, uh, anything else before we bring in today's competitors? No, I am. Uh, I'm excited. Let's see it. Fantastic. All right. Well, first up, you know him from movieguys.net, where you can find basically reviews galore head over there or the Ford Fiesta podcast. Mr. Paul Preston, how are you, sir? Gentlemen, and I use that term loosely. Greetings. <laughs> nice. Uh, you could have the best voice of anybody we've had on the show, just so you know. Well, thank you. Hey, uh, has this been brought I haven't seen every show you guys have ever done, so I don't know if anyone's brought up the theme song at the top of the show. But Andy, is that you giving the uh, rock star belt? It is, yeah. Very nice. That's yeah, about as good as it will be. <laughs> Still, <laughs> I wouldn't have known him. Mild-mannered, <laughs> mild-mannered Andy, you know. The, the, and then he just gives us full... No, what is that? Richard Marks or something? Yeah, it was great. Hey, survivor vibes. Survivor. What we were going it. for. Okay, yeah. okay. that's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, well, I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Richard well, Marks. Paul, I actually apologize. To... I retract that statement. The I mean, what? <laughs> oh, am I come on, he's got a good voice. He's, There's nothing wrong right. with that. It's a... I have I have no idea if I'm being complimented or insulted, so I'll just let it slide. That's bad. <laughs> that's bad. Well, he, he's adult rock. <laughs> okay. Z, what your mom would have listened to in the '90s. Right. So people okay. who are dead now, it's, it's their rock. Yeah, yeah it's their right. idol right. <laughs> from a long distant past. Uh, well, Paul, welcome to the show. It's a pleasure to meet you and have you on. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and bring in your competitor. It's a co-host of yours across many a movie and also your teammate in the Schmodown. You know him from the two previously mentioned also Monday movie nonsense. The fan favorite, the Razor, Mr. Adam Witt. <laughs> ducking and weaving. Yeah. yeah. Hey, thank you for bringing on my new favorite show. There's nothing better than hearing about a show, uh, going and watching it and going, God, I'd love to be on that show. And like, and they're going, oh, wait a second. I'm going to be on that show. <laughs> <laughs> it's serendipitous. This is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful format. Love the show. It's, it's great to put on in the background while I'm uh, doing other things and everything. So, yeah, I'm excited to be here. And, and with this guy of all people. Hey, it's, me. It's, me. It's, it's the guy who watches this show and focuses on nothing else at the thank time. you paul and adam is mr backhanded compliment over here yeah i do other things when i have it on it's great though i love it i can't i get about five percent of my attention well i do the same with handmaid's tale to be fully you know transparent right. yeah. well that's depressing though at the very least i'll give you a break i'll, I'll watch like this from now on thank you mm. thank you <laughs> Uh, I love it. Longingly staring. Even if you're lying to me, I'll take it. Um, well, gentlemen, uh, first off, three podcasts together. 
Uh, is there a fourth in the works, a fifth? Dear God, how much time do you spend <clears throat> together? This is impressive. <laughs> well, going back over time, I mean, the whole thing started with movie videos. You know, we made like a little five-minute videos about all the new releases coming out. That turned yeah. into a live show that ran for two years, which turned into a podcast right when everybody started podcasting, but we jumped mm -hmm. in. That ran for like 200-plus episodes called The Movie Showcast. Different guest every week. I was real proud of that. And we did, yeah. you know, late-night monologue-type jokes about every movie yeah. plus conversation and a guest. Big show. And now it that's passed. So, yeah, it's currently just two actively. Uh, <laughs> the Ford Fiesta, when we get to it. And Movie <laughs> Nonsense uh, every Monday because we're trying to stick to something. And that's yeah. Uh, streaming. So, yeah, those are the two at the moment. But we're open to ideas, Matt, if you've got. Oh, don't worry. I've. I'll start making notes and I'll pitch afterwards. Fill Guys, that calendar. <laughs> no problem. Uh, the Coppola Cadillac, and you just go through Coppolas. Doesn't have quite the same not, range. Not, that yeah. was the best of literature that I Cadillac. could come up with. That's <laughs> pretty terrible, actually. But, Coppola uh, Carnival. Uh, the oh. Fincher Frenzy. The, uh, the, yes, oh, okay. Uh, great. It's like bad <laughs> Batman villains. Uh, and I'd like the. Uh, I'm sad that I missed the preview show because the production value of doing monologue jokes and actually putting time and effort into it is pretty impressive considering most podcasts are pretty fucking lazy, to be perfectly honest. Now you know I, I, our, yeah. our motivating principle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we pride ourselves work. in that. You know, I mean, we wrote a ton. And, you know, those movies aren't like they disappeared. So you can go back and watch the old shows. They're, they're archived at YouTube and are anywhere we have you know the audio <laughs> podcasts itunes and amazon or iHeartRadio or pandora you know everywhere so find an old movie you liked see what we said about it when it came out it's still fun to listen to yeah and it's a good film. thing to put on the background when you're doing other stuff <laughs> <laughs> i never do that adam i dedicate solely focusing in uh all right gentlemen are you ready to begin today's game Yes, I'm ready to find out the difference between couch play and actual play, uh -huh. much like in the actual Schmodown. Mm. <laughs> All right, well, here we go with the beginning of round one. All right, so this is uh, Rocky one. Three. Wait, that wasn't a clue. Never mind. Sorry, I jumped in too fast. <laughs> Ooh, we were looking for five, actually. Oh, All man. Um, All right, so yeah. Adam, you will have choice. In this opening round, one through five, once you make your selection, I will give a clue, and Andy will begin playing. Whenever either of you thinks you know the movie that this is from, buzz in with your name. I will call on you, and you're guessing the movie itself, not the song. Okay. And uh, it is worth 10 points. There's a bonus question worth five points, but we'll get to the rules of the bonus question All when right. we come to it. So, Mr. Witt, one through five, where would you like to begin today's show? I think show? I would like to go one. All right, number one, it is your opening clue. Good luck to you both. Thank you. Is don't box me in. Don't box me in. Oh, oh, he's writing it down. This is a first. He's just writing down Rocky Three again, is he? <laughs> now I, I realize while watching your show, I completely forget the clue once my brain goes uh, okay. into okay. the music. So okay, right. smart. <laughs> Smart. We can take an extra yeah. beat if you want to write it down. No, no, it's okay. Go for it. <laughs> All okay, right. Don't, don't box me in. Okay. Pistol shots ring out in a barroom night. In a padded valentine from the upper hall. She sees a bartender in a pool of blood. Cries out, my God, they killed them all. It comes a story and it's always the same. Never done. Put in a prison cell, but one time he could have been champion of the world. Wow. Don't box me in. Don't box me in. Okay. I, I mean, I know what type of movie I'm looking for in my brain. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will tell you this the original singer, his voice has been described as glue and sand. He's very a rough, okay. unmelodic voice, which Andy's is, is too good for that. Sure. Yeah. Well, I know what singer you're talking about now. Okay. okay. I, I, think... I would I would say, if you guys are struggling, that uh, the lyrics describe the movie in full. Yeah. yeah. Can we hear it again? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. I don't mind. Um, I'm 
And by the way, I did work on the impression, but I just it's, I, didn't feel like I can't it's imagine. It's worthy. distinct. <laughs> Pistol shots ring out in a barroom night. In a patty Valentine from the upper hall. She sees a bartender in a pool of blue. Cries out, my God, they killed him all. Here comes the story, it's always the same. The man the authorities came to blame. Something that he'd never done. Put in a prison cell for one time, he could have been champion. I, I have a guess. Do I get points off for a guess? No, go for it. <clears throat> it's the hurricane? The hurricane is correct for 10 points. Uh, oh! Great guess. That's good work. Great. Yeah. I was <laughs> rifling through boxing movies. There. Yeah, right? Oh, wow. Can I, I'll, I'll play you the chorus how it's supposed to go because I, okay. I did a lyric rewrite. Here's the chorus. Here comes the story of the hurricane. Right. <laughs> yeah, you gotta yeah, do so that. You gotta do it. Oh wow! Uh, so that song, the song in that movie says, "Here comes the story of the hurricane." Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's um, awesome. All right, Adam. Yeah, so the song bonus goes through the entire trial and yeah. all the conspiracy. It's like a seven-minute version. You can hear yeah. where it's just beat Incredible. by beat of everything that goes on. I gotta find this original version. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> um, all right, so Adam, bonus question time. Now, some of these are easy, and some of right. these are hard. It's worth five points. You, know, you can choose to go alone, but if you get it wrong, you will lose the five points. Otherwise, you can open it up to both you and Paul. No one will lose any points, but obviously Paul can cut into your 10 to nothing lead. So my question to you is, do you want to be a dick or not? <laughs> sometimes yes, sometimes no. Yeah. Uh, but in this case, I think I better open it up. I don't I don't feel extremely confident about the genre or the actors. So All let's, right. let's let this one open up here. Okay. It is open to both of you. Buzz in with your name. If either of you thinks you know the answer to the question, here's your first <clears throat> bonus question. The hurricane was helmed by what? In the heat Paul. of the night, Paul. Norman Jewison. That is correct. Nice. Nicely, nice. Done. Yeah. Right. nicely done. Nicely <clears> done. <throat> Once I got the movie, everything else fell into place. But damn it, <laughs> right. movie. I'm bleed for this. South Palm just bad. Nothing. <laughs> right. I know. I know. I'm like, there's a song in South Palm? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, occasionally Andy does rap on this uh, show, but I'm not sure South Paw's got a distinctive enough one. Right. Yeah. Um, and his girl right. died in there, right? Not a bar full of people. Anyway. Right. <laughs> my brain's already scrambled thanks it was a hotel lobby wasn't it where she got shot i think so i think so yeah. um yeah that's the half of the movie i could give a shit about it's the second half that i think is excellent <laughs> that first half is pretty terrible hmm. um all right adam uh you still have control since you got the last movie okay. uh, musical question correct so <clears throat> two through five where are we going next uh we'll go with the second letter in george lucas's premiere film i uh, will go uh three Three, it is. Uh, well, I can't say one again. One, one, three, eight. <clears throat> but yes, I go with three. All right, your clue for this is: see it with a bud. <laughs> see it with a bud. Gee, what could this movie be about? Okay. <laughs> I've been in the right place, but it must have been the wrong time. I'd have said the right thing, but I must have used the wrong line. I've been on the right trip, but I must have used the wrong call. My head is in a bad place, and I'm wondering what it's good for. I've been in the right place, but it must have been the wrong time. My head is in a bad place, but I'm having such a good time. I'll give you a second clue. Oh, yes. Strohs before hoes. <laughs> Strohs before hoes. See it with a bud. And Strohs. And I know the song, but what movies is it in? <laughs> it's the only one I can think of that it's ever been in. Yeah. Um. And it doesn't cost anything to guess, right? No. No, if you want to guess, okay. go ahead. Strohs before hose. Uh, yeah, Paul. Yeah. Paul. Half baked. Incorrect. Okay. Incorrect. But yeah, all right. Train of thought. I'm gonna uh -huh. go with uh, uh, Pineapple Express. Incorrect okay. as well. Oh. Incorrect as well. I'll give you one final clue. You both can guess again. Your final clue is deep in the heart of Texas. Ooh. Okay. 
Did you know Rose? Oh! Before Rose? Oh. Uh, is, uh... <laughs> is it Days of Confusion? Oh, I was just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I Sorry, I forgot to say my name. I didn't hear yeah. your name. Hey. Yeah. I didn't say That's my right. name. Daniel, Daniel, you, you didn't say your name. Next time, please say your name. But I'll give okay, you yeah, out. sorry. Yeah. Ten points there. Is that correct? That oh, is correct. Awesome. Well well yeah, done. that sounds like a song that would be in that movie. Uh, yeah, it's when they're all partying at the Moon Tower, and they're just kind of that. That's the song. Yeah, as the, the camera Moon floats Tower? around. Yeah, as the camera yeah. floats around to various groups. Stros um, before host. Great hints, guys. You must have so much fun putting those together. Um, you think absolute, that, but it's absolute torture. Yeah, it is the worst part of the show every week. <laughs> You're welcome to that. Can be your fourth show if you want. You guys yeah, just take the exactly. All right. Ooh, good pitch. Um, all right. Uh, bonus question, Adam. Do you want to be a dick or not? For this one, I can be a dick. I think I whatever uh, anything related to this, I might be good at. We'll see. All right. Unless it's an actor's name, and then I'm screwed. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, some of these are easy, and some of these are hard. Here's your bonus question. The word man is used how many times in Dazed and Confused? And I'll give it to you if you're within 30. <laughs> within 30, I apologize. Not an actor's name. <laughs> it's the penalty for being a dick. Some of these are really hard. Uh, within 30, how many times yeah. do they say the word man? The wow. Um, <laughs> what a great stat. What a great stat. 60. 60. No, that is incorrect. 203. <laughs> <laughs> so I just lost five points. You lost five points. That was worth it. Well, that was worth it. Uh, it takes it to <laughs> 15 to five. Um, but Adam, you still have control of the board. Okay. Uh, two, two, four, or five. Two, four, or five, uh, two. Two, it is. What a fun game, huh? It's so much fun. <laughs> your your clue. He's trying to get trying to get his five points back. <laughs> You're both very handsome as well. If you did. Oh, yes. flattery will work much better, man. Right? There we go. Here oh we go. man. What you got for us, Adam? <laughs> uh, You're great right. to have at parties. <laughs> uh, your your clue for number two is oh, boy. There, we got we got a lot of good ones. I'm going to say Introduction to Binge Drinking 101. Okay. Introduction to Binge Drinking 101. Andy, working out the song. Here Apologies. we go. Apologies, yeah. Introduction to okay. Binge Drinking Well, you know you make me want to shout, kick my heels. Oh, oh, oh. National Lampoon's Animal House. Yeah. That is correct for 10 points. Nice. And ties the ball game 15 apiece. All right. Uh, Paul, do you want to be a dick or not? Well, let's see. I'm tied. I wasn't really a horrible in a horrible state when I was down, so I'll be a dick. <laughs> if I go down again, eh, I'm still close. All right. <laughs> I was actually anticipating the other, but okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Here is a bonus question for Paul alone. Animal House was the acting debut of two popular and successful actors, one male and one female. Name either. I'm sorry. You broke up during that on my end. Oh, okay. Repeat? I, no problem. Animal House was the acting debut of two popular and successful actors, one male and one female. Name either. Two actors. Karen Allen. That is correct for five. Oh. Beautifully done. <clears throat> and the other? Kevin Bacon. There we go. Oh. I was what Tom Hulse do before that. Anyway. Uh yeah, it is. Was like he good on a wormhole. I guess a little bit. <laughs> Compared to the other two, <laughs> not really. It's the adjective, not his history of <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Peter well, Rieger's fifteenth film. <laughs> yeah. Um all right, so Paul, you got that one correct. So we have number four or five. What would you like next? Yeah, let's go in order. Four. Number four, it is. Your clue is. And the band played on. And the band played on. Little girl is 
It's a great big world, but there's only one of me. You can't touch because it costs too much. But tonight I'm gonna rock you. Tonight I'm gonna rock you. Wait. Wait. What? Why? Is... Spinal tap. That is correct for this. This is spinal tap. Yeah, it's tonight. I'm gonna rock it tonight. I'm gonna rock it tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Did you have a bad connection there, Paul? Is that your? Yeah, I was. I was wondering. No, 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 no. I'm you, sorry. No, oh, I was oh, like, oh. yeah, it's. You were just it's, getting there. I, and you, I pulled yeah. an Adam. I was like, it, 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 you know, the one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so it takes it 25 to 20 in Adam's favor. Adam, bonus question: Do you want to be a dick or not? Well, I said that before because I knew the category. Um, should I chance that again? Yeah, give it to me. <laughs> all right, he's going to be a dick. Here you go. This is just for Adam. Here's your bonus question. Christopher Guest and Michael McKeon have worked together as actors on five movies. Okay. Name four of them. Okay. Um, Christopher Guest and Michael McKean. Yep. Guest and McKean. Okay. Uh, let's have worked see. together as actors in five movies. Name four of them. Okay. Um, um, is it? Uh, hold on, hold on. Let's see. That's all right. Take your time. Uh, okay. Yeah. Hold on. Got to jog the memory for the one that's not coming to me. Oh, is it? Spinal Tap. Gotcha. A Mighty Wind. Okay. Oh, is he? Is Michael McKean in the one I was about to say? Oh, uh, for your consideration. Okay. And best in show. That is correct for five. Because oh, he's not waiting for Guffman, I don't think. He is not. not. I almost went with waiting for Guffman. Oof, woo. <laughs> the last one I can find, if either of you two <sighs> can tell me that, I'll give you a bonus, just a single point. Oh, the last one? Another Ooh. film they were in together? They were in together. And I'll tell you this, Guest Shearer Michael. was in it as well. <clears throat> okay. All three of them were in it as actors in the movie. I did not realize this. There's a Spinal Tap straight to video, but that's not I'm what you're not, saying. I'm not counting that, no. No. Um, oh. Oh. Is it? <laughs> Either you two have a guess? Uh, is it the Groove Tube? <laughs> no. No. I don't even know the Groove Tube. Is it that <laughs> one? Yeah, is, there's an indie film that Christopher Guest's in as the love interest, and I have a feeling. No, McKean's not in that. No, I don't know. Uh, small soldiers. Oh, they all have voices in small soldiers. Mm. Great answer. Did not know that. Great answer. I was I unaware of that. Did not know that. <laughs> um, it's a reference the kids are going to definitely. Oh, get, they love you it. Know? Kids, kids love Johnny Carson. They all got. <laughs> they're all, all yeah. on. Pluto. They love them. Uh, I just watched the Late Wars again last week. I love that movie. Oh, it's awesome. So good. Um, all right. So here's your final question of the opening round. It is 30 to 20 in Adam's favor as of right now, so it's anybody's game. Your final clue of the opening round is the way of the gun. Nice. The way of the gun. I know it's not going to be a song from that movie. <laughs> All the Probably popular not. songs from Way of the Gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh, child, things are gonna get easier. Oh, Paul. Oh, oh. Paul. Boys in the Hood? Incorrect. Oh, no. Incorrect. No, it's not. Hold on. I'm spilling water. I got this. Oh. Is it... Oh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. That is correct for 10 points. Yes! Nice pull, Adam. <laughs> um, all right, so final bonus question. It is 40 to 20 right now in Adam's favor. Adam, one final time. Do you want to be a dick or not? I mean, I feel like I got to pull ahead here just in case because uh, you're going to start naming Billy Joel songs from movies and Paul's going to clean up here. Uh, <laughs> but no, 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 no. I won't be a dick. I won't be a dick. We'll, we'll open it. We'll keep this one open. All right. For fun. To close out this round, let's make it competitive where we can shout stuff. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. It is open to both of you. It's worth five points. Your final right. bonus question is this. What are the names of the two characters in the movie that play sisters? 
with I Wait. forgot the movie. The two characters or actors? So pissed about me too for a second. Answer. Me too, Paul. Me too, Paul. It took me <laughs> <laughs> the what first two we, seconds of that were like, what are we talking about again? We're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, the two characters, not characters the Characters is uh, the movie? Gamora. Guardians of the Galaxy. Of the Galaxy. Oh, okay. Gamora yeah. and... Oh, oh, what's the other character's name? <laughs> Gamora and... <clears throat> Paul, you can't steal this, just so you know. Oh. Yeah. Gamora and... <laughs> Computertron. No, that's not it. Uh, what is her name? It's oh, close though. Oh, oh. It's right here. It's right here. Uh, 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 uh. What do you got, Adam? <laughs> Gamora <laughs> and. Like you're just gonna will it into existence. I am. I am. Well, this is this is the process here. Thank God there's no countdown on this one. <laughs> well, come on, come might on. Be, uh, come as much on. as we like you watching you struggle. I know. I know. It's <laughs> absolutely boring. Uh, Gamora and uh, uh. what do you got? Paul's got a good poker face. I can't tell if he knows it or not. <sighs> I can't pull it. I can't pull her name. Do you just want to throw something out? No, no, out? no, no. Yeah, yes. Yes, I do. Uh. <laughs> Get Mora and... Okay. I can feel Mark Canopic rewatching this episode and screaming at the at the computer right, right now. Right. <laughs> this is the sting moment from the show. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, what do you got? No, uh, 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 <laughs> Make up a superhero name. You might have a chance. Quintessa. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Unfortunately, the galactic aristocracy is not in this one. Uh, that is incorrect. Paul, do you have a guess? I don't. <laughs> Karen Gillen. <laughs> Karen Gillen. Uh, but it's killing Yeah, that. right. That is correct. It is Karen Gillen that yeah. uh, does a... Wait, I got it. That's too late. Yeah, I don't <laughs> got it. Adam. I don't got it. <laughs> okay. <don't got> <laughs> That's... Oh, Paul, Laura. you can at least make a guess if you want. Uh, Gamora and Sephora. That's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is incorrect. Nebula. Is Nebula. Uh, Nebula. Oh, my God. Driving me nuts. All right. Well, that ends round one. Adam has a 20 point lead, <laughs> 40 to 20 right now. Uh, but it's still anybody's game. <laughs> oh, go. my gosh. We're about to jump into round two. Rocky right, too. So, oh. Yeah, so, oh, that one is correct, though. <laughs> Notice the slight tonal shift. Um, <laughs> all right, so, Paul, because you're in second place, you will have first choice in the second round. This is the five-second round. The way it works is you'll choose one through five. I will give a clue, and Andy will play five seconds of the song. Could be the opening five seconds, could be the last five seconds. Uh, it's his choice on that. If you can guess the movie, and that five seconds is worth ten points, if we have to go to the second five seconds of music, it is only worth five points. And you only get one guess per question in this round, which isn't exactly a hard and fast rule, but don't guess again until I tell you you can guess again. And we can both uh, guess here, right? Correct. Yeah. It's open to both of you. Uh, but Paul has choice to open. One through five, where would you like to, be to begin, Mr. Preston? Uh, three. Three it is. It is so Your... clearly the Schmodown off season. Nebula. <laughs> Nebula. Like, uh, Nebula. Right. You, you turn your brain off that part and it just goes. Oh. And we're in... also <laughs> exercising a different part of the trivia brain. She's so... in my favorite movie of all time twice. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Number three. This is open to both of you. Once again, if you get it in the first five seconds, it's worth 10 points. Second five seconds, it's worth five. Your opening clue is. Behind the music. Behind the music. You gave them all those old time stars through walls of worlds. Mm. Paul. Paul. Bohemian Rhapsody. That is correct for 10 yeah. points. Good call. Good call. Nice job. Nice job. Um, all right, Paul, you maintain control. Uh, one, two, four, or five. Where would you like to go next? Let's go back to one. 
Back to one it is. Back to one, everyone. Cut. <laughs> Back to one. Your clue is blonde ambition. Blonde ambition. He's for every one of us. Stand for every well, one of us. Oh. Flash Gordon. Yeah. God, good job. Queen songs in this round. I and we it. have uh, a tie ball game, 40 Ooh. points apiece right now. Ooh. Paul, where do you want to go next, two, four, or five? Let's go to five. Five it is. What Queen song will this be? <laughs> <laughs> uh, your clue is Nostalgia Overlord. Over, overload. Nostalgia Overload. She swam by me. She got a cramp. Oh. Ah. Oh. Grease. That is correct for 10 points. Man. And Paul takes the lead I'm 50 sure to does. 40. Handily. <clears throat> um, all right, sir. You still Damn. have control. These are uh, great. Number two or number four? Number two. Number two, it is. Your clue is knock three times. Knock three times. Would you guys like to hear that again? Yes. I absolutely know this. Knock three times. If neither of you wants to venture a guess, we'll jump into the second five seconds of music. And it drops the point value down to five points. Yeah, go ahead. Well, for me. Paul, do you want to go to the second five? Yeah, it's not turning yeah. over. Go God, ahead. I, I okay. know, absolutely know this song, but I can't put together <laughs> what it's from. Okay. It's going to be very similar to this five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, here we go. I could do with the synth, Matt. It was not watch. bad, to be perfectly honest. I can give you guys a Man. second clue if you want. All right, uh, second, yeah, please. second clue. Yeah. First one was knock three times. Your second clue is adult swim. Knock three times and adult swim. Hmm. This was this was so you know the hardest of the second round. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Boy, I sure know this. What is this? You definitely do. I know. I do. Uh, adult swim. Knock three times. Would you like to hear it again? Please. Sure. <laughs> oh God. Oh. And I can hear the song. It's breaking in after after this. It really breaks into it too. Oh my gosh! I can't pull it. Adult Swim. Knock three times. Knock three times. Adult Swim. Would either of you two like to venture a guess? <laughs> Otherwise, I mean, I could potentially give you another clue if you want. Wouldn't hurt. I kind of want to get this. One. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. I know. I know. It's my brain's going nuts right now. All right, your third clue <laughs> is. Feels so rewarding. <laughs> As the crow flies. As the crow flies. Knock three times. Adult <clears throat> swim. And as the crow flies. 
Would either of you two like to, to oh, man. make a guess? Yeah. Otherwise, we're going to have to move on. Well, maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. We... Uh... Seems like you both know the song. <laughs> oh my god, what is this song? <laughs> you should just make we... a compilation of like people with brain pain on this show. Just like a <laughs> yeah, of right. montage of just people going, ah. <sighs> uh, <laughs> what was the third clue? As the crow, As the crow flies. flies. You know, wow. you know, we've never done this. I'll give you the band that wrote the song. We never give it. I think this I even know before. that. Can't come up with a movie, but go ahead. Mm. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. The band is The Cars. Nope. I haven't <clears> had that right. Too. Wit. Uh, Boogie Nights. Incorrect. Yeah. That's a good guess. At least you took a guess. Paul, would you want to take a guess? And An I would have stopped. I would have it's, sung some of the lyrics in the five seconds if they were in the movie. Yeah, they're not in the movie. It's just the musical intro. God, what in the world? Paul, guess? Uh, <laughs> the Nice Guys. I got nothing. That's mm-hmm. incorrect. Uh, that is from the pool scene... In Fast Times at Ridgemont High. It Jeez. is. It was the hardest of the second round. Wow, that's fantastic. It's the Cars, Andy huh? You, you play more of that song right now, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it starts, and then it goes into, it's got more of a synth after that. Yeah. And it's, yeah. Wow. Knock three times. Wow, good one. Really good. Wow. That was tough, though. I and what an that. iconic scene that people forget what that song is. And I mean, I don't even, like, you know, we're sitting here jogging our brains because we do know it because you've seen that scene a hundred times. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've focused on other things in that scene. <laughs> yeah. Well, of course, Judge Reinhold's performance. Uh, of course, naturally. Uh, undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the right. plight of youth. The plight of youth is really what I focus on in that team. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. It's, it's a nice highbrow interpretation. <laughs> um, all right, so that's we have uh, one left. The score is fifty to forty in Paul's favor right now. Okay, so number four in the second round. Your final clue is the Rat Catcher. Hmm. The Rat Catcher. <laughs> Adam, whip! Adam. Oh, does he have hold it? On. Hold on, I do, I do, I do. I know, I know. But I said my name first, so now I've got a little time to think of the <laughs> name do. of this song. Yeah, and I'm too time. amped up and excited to think of the name of this movie right now. But the name of this movie is... Nebula. <laughs> <laughs> now here's what's stupid. It's a remake of Infernal Affairs. Why can I... Oh, uh, no, The Departed. The, that is Jesus. correct. That is correct. <laughs> I challenge. If, if I sat here just going the infer, infernal affairs and not knowing the re- name of the remake of it, I'd feel so terrible. <laughs> just put a note out for future competitors on this show. Just say your name, and then it'll it'll come to you. Yeah, I could have gotten a hurricane. I might have come up with this. Uh, okay, I see how it is. Okay. There you go. So the slight flaw in the system. It doesn't come up all that often, though. Um. Yeah, it also could be Nebula, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> there is always that chance. Nebula. Um, oh all God. right, well, after two rounds, we got a tie ball game at 50 points nice. apiece, gentlemen. Oh. Good. Paul oh. and I are a very entertaining, right? You get a lot of these things are blowouts. <laughs> Here we are. It's going to go down to the wire. It's, honestly, this is what we want. We want it to come down <laughs> to the final question and even potentially sudden death. That's what we want. Uh, but all right, here we go. We're jumping into round three. Creed. Um, okay. Oh. So, <laughs> ah, this time though, Creed too. Um, so because Adam had the opening round, that means Paul, you'll have opening on the third round, uh, since you guys are both tied. That's kind of the okay. way we do it on the show. 
Um, so the way this works is, Paul, you'll choose one through five. I will give a clue. And then you will begin the bidding on the number of notes that you think you can guess this movie Excellent. song in. You're still guessing the movie itself, but you're opening with the number of notes you're bidding with. Three is the minimum. The max is how many ever notes you'd like it to be. Um, you could say 50, you could say 100. Wherever you want to start is your choice. And then we bid back and forth. We go over to Adam next. And then uh, until one of you tells the other to settle the score, at that point, it's worth 10 points at three notes and above, 15 at two notes, 20 at one note. And if you want to guess based solely on the context clue, it's worth 25 <laughs> points. And there are two caveats. If you get it wrong, your opponent gets the points. And finally, you have one lifeline that you can use at any, uh, uh, at any time during this final round to get a second clue but you only have one of those, so be judicious as to when you use it. So, Paul, one through five, where would you like to begin this final round? Yeah, it worked well before. Let's go with number three. Number three it is. Your clue is Steely Determination. Steely Determination. <clears throat> Anna came up with that one, Matt. Did she? That's a great one. I like that one a lot. She's going to be very happy. Uh, so I begin Paul, the bidding. You begin the bidding. Three okay. is the minimum. The max is how many ever notes you'd like it to be. I'll start with 20. 20 it is. Adam, over to you. 19 or fewer. Tell him to settle the score. Uh, 19. All right. Back, Paul, back to you. 15. 15. Adam. 14. 14. 13. 12. 13. 11. <laughs> 10. Ooh. Paul's thinking about this one. Thinking about it with steely determination. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, all right, Adam, take it away. All right, Adam, 10 notes to you. You're told to settle the score. Your clue again is settle steely. The score. I've missed settle. my determination. Yeah, 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 yeah. Settle. Use the catchphrase, Adam, dude. Settle the score. There we go. Um, my favorite was, I think it was JT said, name that score. And I was like, now you're just conflating the two. Good job. <laughs> that's, that's brand. That is on brand. It's perfectly on brand. On brand. <laughs> um, all right. Steely determination. You do have a lifeline. You can ask for okay. a second clue if you need it. Yeah. If I've and gotten over here. my skis already, I'll uh, go for that. <laughs> Here's your 10 notes. Good luck. Nice. I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> <laughs> the Terminator. That is correct for 10 Terminator points. Two. Awesome. Sorry, Adam. You're right. Oh, <laughs> dude, dude. out of the game. <laughs> <laughs> great one. God, what a great. And thank you for finally including a movie score. That is my area of expertise. Songs are Paul's area of expertise. And have we had a score yet? Is this the first score? Well, we, the scores are for the final round. because <laughs> Oh, is that always there. the final round? Oh, okay. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Every once again, we'll put scores in other places in the show, but the last right. five songs are almost all. Oh, oh, okay. Scored. I didn't know that was a format. Yeah, settle the yeah, score. It, Aha. It, it kind of it kind of works because uh, it would be d difficult to get those individual notes if it was a song and stuff like that. So, right. yeah, an indiv yeah, score with a melody is. Oh yeah, yeah. Complete sense. Um, yeah, well produced show. Have I complimented this yet? <laughs> it's like they know what they're doing. It's Thank like you. They know what they're doing. <laughs> um. All right, so that gives you the lead, Adam, by 10 points, 60 to 50, and control of the board. So number three is off. Where would you like to go next? Uh, four. Four it is. Your clue is mind your tone. Mind your tone. Okay. Mind your tone. So how many notes would you like to begin the bidding with, Adam? Mind your tone. Mind your tone. Mind your tone. Uh, let's say 35. 35 it is, Paul. 25. Ooh. 25. Wow. Uh, 22. 22. 18. 18. Back to you, Adam. 15. 14. 12. 11. Nine. Ooh, little monkey wrench. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Five. Oh. <laughs> drops it again. I like this. Five. Paul, what are you going to do? Scores are his thing. 
So, I'm getting cocky. Yeah. Dang it, Terminator, I got, got three, so. All right. Um, mm-hmm. Probably ain't going to be that way with this one. <laughs> I don't I'll know. say four. <laughs> four? I came Paul, last time. Paul, settle the score. All right. <sighs> On four notes. You okay. do have a lifeline, Paul, if you want to use it here. <laughs> Are your four notes, and once again, your clue is mind your tone. Mind your tone. <laughs> Could have went down the two. Close encounters of the third kind. Nice. That is correct for ten points. What an ideal piece of music for exactly this game. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Play the first note. Play the first note. Would you have gotten it? No. Nah. Maybe. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You dropping from 35, you're going down in five. Though. Yeah, 35 in right. my head. I was like, oh my God. Just, <laughs> yeah, just playing it over and over again. That's it. You got to go through the whole, <laughs> whole sequence. <laughs> You'd have to go through the whole thing. It'd be fun. Yeah. I, I literally, I literally learned those five notes. I thought no matter how many notes, I'll just keep going. Yeah. Just play play those same five, five over, over and over. over. Yeah. Yeah. In the entire uh, conversation, there's like probably 35 notes. Yeah. Uh, well, congrats, Paul. You just tied the game back that up. That was good. A piece. That was good. And you have control of the board. One, two, or five. Where would you like to go next? One. One it is. Your clue is running late. Running late. Hmm. Wow, that could be all Paul, how many notes would you like to open the bidding with? Running late. 175, Matt. 175 it is. Sounds like he wants to hear the whole score. <laughs> the entire score to running scared. Uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> let's drop that down to a manageable 50. <laughs> All right, 50, All Paul. Right. I'll cut you in half, Adam. 25. <laughs> 22. I'll cut you in half, Adam. 11. 8. I like it. We're down to 8. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Ooh, has, four. <laughs> mm. What do you want to do, Paul? It worked, it worked last time. Mm. Can I... Can I catch lightning in a bottle twice? What? Well, two notes is worth 15. One note, 20. All oh, right. And then That's above right. that is everything three. But three notes and above, it's worth ten points. Oh, so we're at right. four right now. Oh, I see. So right. you gotta you can bid down if you really wanna test your metal, so to speak. Uh, Adam, settle the score. Okay, here we go. All right, four notes. Once again, running late is your running clue. late. Okay. Running short sweet. <laughs> 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 Chariots of Fire. That's correct for 10 points. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think had you gone down to like two, I think it's gettable at two. One is just. Yeah. I think it is. yeah. What, I'm amazed that Close Encounters would have worked probably at one. <laughs> I mean, what else would work at one note? Uh, yeah, I don't Jaws. Know. Yeah, Jaws. Mm-hmm. <laughs> about <laughs> it um, alright Adam you got the points and took a 10 point lead 70 to 60 right now we have nice. 2 and 5 left where would you like to go next uh, let's go uh, Empire Strikes Back let's go 5 5 it is not Attack of the Clones we'll go a much luckier movie <laughs> not for Django Fett but... uh, all right. your clue is... That goes on in his head. You just heard what goes on in his head. <laughs> Wait, let's see. Should I say five and then all that and then five? I... Yeah, well, we all do that, in, that to some degree. Point. You know, we all have our process, so to speak. I detest silence. 
Um, all right. Your clue is nom de plume. Nom de plume. What a what a what a clue! This is fascinating. Nom de plume. Okay, okay. Um, I feel like as writers, you both know that term. So that's yeah, uh, yes, yes. But boy, that could be a lot of different movies. Uh, 30, 40 notes. Forty notes. It is. Paul, I'll cut you in half, Adam. Twenty. You go twenty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, eighteen. I'll cut you in half, Adam. Nine. Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, eight. Seven. Six. Five. Settle the score. Okay. All right. Five notes. You do have a lifeline if you want to use that. Oh, that's right. Two yeah, questions lifelines. left. Um, once again, it's nom de plume is your clue. Andy's working out your notes right now. Here you go. Tricky. <laughs> oh, one of these. Said nice and you know it, or nice and that's really difficult, and it puts Paul in a tough position. <laughs> um, a little of both, I think. I think I know this. You can you hear, hear it again, Paul. I would love to hear it again. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> can I steal? Do I get one more listen? You cannot. Sure, oh, yeah, you yeah. can get as many listens as you oh, like. Give me one more yeah. listen. Oh, I want Paul to get this. Beverly Hills Cup. Oh, that is yeah. incorrect. So I can hear. I can hear. I can hear that. I can hear. You're so yeah. close. Oh, I know what it is. You're yeah. so close. Damn it! It's, it's Faltermeyer. Yeah. Play the what whole thing. It? That's Fletch. I mean, yeah, I, that's Fletch, Fletch, baby. Fletch. Oh, God, I should have went down one more. I would have gotten that. I think. That's awesome. I was hoping Fletch would come up in one of your shows, and I'm so happy it's in mine. <laughs> I wish I had gotten it. But... I'm We're not. in agreement. It's one of my favorite. Oh, uh, I was, people ask me, I tell them that's my favorite movie just because I think that's an impossible question, but Fletch yeah. is one of my favorites. Oh, right. Yeah, oh, my I God. I was that whole time. theme. I just said the other dun, one. Dun, 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 dun. It, Beverly Hills yeah. Cop is close, though. It's right there, yeah. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, well, that's Harold Faltermeyer. I mean, name yeah. name three Faltermeyer scores, and that's the three. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, that is a twenty point lead, eighty to sixty right now for Adam Paul. You can still tie it or win this. If we tie, we go to a sudden death, which is just Andy chooses a song. I don't even know what it is, and begins playing. Uh, and you'd have to. Oh, so I got the points from that. You got the points since oh, he okay. got it wrong. Okay. Nice. So we have one left. Adam, since you got the points, you'll open the bidding. Um, All right. Nom de plume. Good one. Andy, what do you like of these as your favorite? Um, Adam, right? Oh, you're no, talking Andy, about the clues. I'm, I'm, you're talking about I'm the clues. About okay. the, yeah, the clues <laughs> in the background. <laughs> we have quite a few um, to choose uh, from. I like Cop is such a good guess. I like D and G. Okay. Don't give it away, yeah. Dolce and Cabana. <laughs> De Laurentiis Film Group. <laughs> All right. Your final clue is imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome. So, Adam, you open the bidding. How many notes would you like to start with? Imposter syndrome. Okay, that's uh, that's narrow. There's something narrow there. Um, I'll start out with 15. Paul? Five. Oh, boy. You got to get it down to one note, Paul. I know. I'm at the end of my rope, so. Oh, four. Yeah. <laughs> one. <laughs> Settle the score. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For the lead. Here's your one note. You do have your lifeline still. I know. I should have used it last time. Like an idiot. Forgot. That's all right. Yeah, no, you need it for one point. You need it for one note. That's for sure. To tie the ball game, here is your one note. One note to tie the ball game. <laughs> and your clue is folks. imposter syndrome. 
apologies muted um paul i am putting my hands in the position of if i was going to play more than one note oh, I okay that, i don't know if that would help but i'm not just gonna just do that but this is the position i would be oh, i know in. what he's gonna play okay <sighs> did you get that from my hand position i, I just the fact oh, that right. there's a follow-up note i just I, I have a feeling okay okay I'll, I'll leave them there for you you want to give it to him again, just for... It's distinct. Yeah. I, I, I have a guess. <laughs> now, you do have your lifeline if you want to use it, Paul. Um, and Andy would give you that clue. Yeah, oh, God, I wish I remembered it last time. Wouldn't be in this mess, but I guess I need it. Yeah, so I'll take my lifeline. Yeah, okay. What does that get me, by the way? A clue. You get a, another clue. You get a second clue. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So we'll go with your second clue in the heights. Oh. Imposter syndrome and in. The Heights. Okay. I got a mm-hmm. shot. What do you got? If this is right. I'm going to crap my pants. <laughs> All right. Catch me if you can. Imposter syndrome in the Heights. That is incorrect. Oh, he's, a, incorrect. he's a pilot. He, yeah. He's an imposter. Oh, that's great. That's really good. Can I take a guess? Go ahead. That is a really good guess. I'm so glad I don't have to crap my pants, let's be honest. <laughs> that is a consolation. I guess I well, that, follow through. Th- that first note easily could be the entertainer from Sting. Okay. The Sting. But in the Heights, that doesn't now that doesn't make any sense. So my okay. second guess would be Phantom of the Opera. Uh, you're spot on with the uh, entertainer note. That is the right note. Exactly the same note. But these, that is the wrong the... movie. Yeah. Wrong movie. This is the uh, the rest of the score. Oh! oh. Vertigo? Yeah. Vertigo is correct. Wow! Imposter Syndrome in the Heights. Wow, fantastic. Well, congratulations, Adam. Uh, are, you guys out available for, are you guys available for parties? I, I could do this all day. <laughs> I want to get, get a party where we just play this. <laughs> right. You can just t- take old ones and everything. Oh, my gosh. So much Wait. fun. Really comes down to Andy's schedule. He's the talent on this show. I just stand here and read things. So, <laughs> well, let me know when you do the uh, live tournament of champions, and Adam goes to that. I'll come down and support you, Adam. I have no hard feelings. Right. All right, Paul, you were excellent at this game. Don't tell yourself <laughs> short. Oh, close, yeah. Don't think we won't invite both of you back. You're both good at this game. Oh my god, uh, that that was the most. Uh, we got Terminator. We got Fletch. We it's uh, Vertigo. I mean, this is a uh, yeah, bunch of fun songs in this one. We got Spinal Tap. Um, try and tailor two movies we think yeah. probably in your wheel now that we know that you're both big ford fans maybe maybe mm-hmm. next time there might be a little obscure you know harrison right. ford in there. who knows yeah. who well, knows? we'll take that just avoid yeah. any any movie scenes that have cleavage in them because they weren't listening to the music no they were right. <laughs> who cares about socioeconomic that socioeconomic plight of the characters <laughs> yeah. involved distracted distracted <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, but great game, gentlemen. Nonetheless, game really, down, really good fun. I mean, that uh, so uh, that just made my day that Fletch ended up in our show. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so good. Should have gotten the clue. Ah, uh, well, kids who play this in the future, get your clue. There you go. <laughs> there you Take go. The free clue. <laughs> yeah. Well, the fact that you both are big fans of Fletch, I'm definitely oh. going to invite you back on. It's well, we're it's all a rare breed these days. It's hi. <laughs> I can quote that movie backwards and forwards. Oh, I've, all over the place. I've worn out two VHS copies, and now I just, it's the only physical DVD I own. This morning. Is it that Mr. <laughs> Simlin did? Yeah. I'm in bridge, work, bridge construction, and these foldouts take a tremendous amount of space, and I need space. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what kind of name is Poon? A Comanche Indian. Comanche Indian. <laughs> Doesn't mean to work sitting next to me, does it? Morris yeah. or Pierre. Yeah. Morris or Pierre. Uh, here he is sitting next to me. Uh, my parents are uh, my parents are big fans of the president. <laughs> oh, like, oh my god! Who is Frida? She's my secretary. 
<laughs> I'm Frida's boss. Who's Frida? Yeah, Frida. My secretary. Frida? <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. God, I admire you. Uh, <laughs> I went to that location in Santa uh, Monica recently. His, uh, oh, his did you really? Isn't that great? Apartment. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, God, where is that. that in Santa Monica? Uh, man, I, I don't oh, know. So, exactly oh, it's under address, the main. It's under the pier. No, 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 not the main... that, that's a location too. But his apartment, like the, oh. the white, the white building front with this. Oh wow! Down. It's it's on, it's like right in the mix there, uh, north of, the downtown area by okay. Montana, probably north of that Third Street it, promenade. Yeah, yeah. If anybody want watching uh, knows anybody that wants a movie tour in L.A., Paul gives movie tours. Can you imagine Paul Preston giving oh, you wow. a movie True. location tour? Yeah, officially soon. But yeah, yeah, he's got a whole list. And you're just like, check them off. And you're like, all right, we'll go to this, we'll go to that. Yeah, Paul knows, Paul knows oh, well, where can, every place is. A la carte, they can say, these are the locations I want to see, and you'll just take them. Yeah, down. because, I mean, like, you take the TMZ tour, you're going to see some cool stuff. Then you're going to see, like, this is where Nicole Richie was arrested, and you're not going to care. <laughs> yeah, so I want right. you to be able no, to pick and movies. choose. I mean, I take you to the Karate Kid's, uh, Daniel LaRusso's place, the Seven Seas, yeah. and you've never seen Karate Kid, you're not going to care. So check off mm. what you like, and then that'll be. The movie guys, LA Film Locations, coming soon. Yeah, I want to go to Tech Noir and, and Reese's Alley uh, downtown LA. I want to do the downtown LA Terminator tour. <laughs> oh, there's a lot. Yeah, I mean, Tech Noir, Blade Runner, Five Hundred Days of Summer. There's lots. Oh yeah, downtown. Paul, uh, are you are you up for me like in a little um, cart behind you with my piano, like playing all the scores to the places that you? Uh... <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, like Burt Bacharach, you know, in the back seat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, Austin yeah. Powers <laughs> just on a flatbed yeah. truck, just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. just playing the themes. <laughs> That's great, yeah. Yeah, that's, dun, I can't believe I've dun, never dun, heard dun, of that dun, dun. a la carte version. That seems like the only way to do it. Yeah. Like, oh, these are the movies I give a shit about. I would happily see those. Like, exactly. oh, okay, I'll take you to those locations as opposed to, yeah, I feel bad for every one of those Hollywood tours. It's like, boy, you guys wasted your money. They're like, mm. all, the, all the locations you can see on this <laughs> yeah. street. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, whatever's on this street, we can show you. Well, Los Angeles do the- does have an unofficial motto that is, uh, just don't start your business here. Because this should have launched, like this should have launched last fall. But I'm still waiting on, you know, my commercial auto insurance policy being filed with the California Public Utilities Commission, oh, yeah. so that way the Department of Transportation can issue me a TCP permit, which allows me to carry people in my car. It's just, a, and I sit back going, "Can I help?" This is agonizingly slow. I so, just want yeah. to show someone the house in Poltergeist. Come on, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just <there>. ridiculous. Cena <laughs> Valley. There you go. <laughs> I had trouble with the DWP at my house, and they had to come out four times, and eventually they'd send out the department head, and he literally walked out and went, yeah, that's fine. And I was like, <laughs> that took eight months, eight months for your old ass to come out here and literally go, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we have uh, the Department of Dismissiveness. He's got to come out and just dismissively go, yeah, sure, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, one guy come out, next guy came out, and it said no to the first guy's work. Then the first guy came out a third time, was like, no, this is fine. I don't know why he said no. And then we had to have the head honcho come out and go, it's fine. Like, this is ridiculous. Sorry about the other honchos, but I'm in yeah. charge of them. No, I'm Grand Poobah. <laughs> I'm I can't even imagine trying to get honcho. interdepartmental bureaucracies to okay things. So God bless you. Yeah. yeah when but that gets I, off the least, ground. When I go up, it'll be legal. And hopefully it's in the next month. So there you go. Right uh, well, yeah, let us know. We'll happily plug it on the show. Yeah, because I bet. I mean, you look at that list, and and you'd go, "Oh, I didn't know I wanted to see this." Like the building that yeah. Briggs jumped off of in Lethal Weapon is the one I take everyone to. I'm like, check it out, you know. But I don't think anybody would be doing a tour would until they look at that and go, "Oh yeah, I do want to see that." Right, right. Yeah, why but not? Of course, it's important to note that across <laughs> the street from that, of course, is the "Get in here" building. Get in here. <laughs> get in here. <laughs> do you want to kill yourself? Yes, do I you want to kill yourself. That's right there next to it. That is. See oh, yeah. that. <laughs> I mean, everybody wants to see Nakatomi. That one's easy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Out my window here. Oh, is it really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a view of the Nakatomi Plaza. I'm on the hill here in uh, Mid-City. Oh, look at you. Classy. Oh. Do you Beverly Hills. Die? Do you want to die? Oh, oh, you, here, the man. best story ever. Dave Senko, Paul, uh, if anybody needs graphics, of course, hire Dave Senko. But uh, uh, he worked on the floor that they were was under construction in Die Hard. That is oh, the uh, best story. <laughs> While like it was under construction, and then they came down, shut it down, and did the shooting. Well, exactly. So that that floor was actually under construction in that building in Die Hard, and then he was working on that floor, which you know had been constructed as of you know five years ago or whenever. But. Oh, okay. So it huh? wasn't in 1988. No, no, no. Yeah. It, recently, <laughs> but it was that floor that yeah, was under cool. construction. Yeah. <laughs> that is pretty cool. I right know, right? Isn't that a great location? <clears throat> um. Well, gentlemen, uh, thank you so much. 
for joining us today. Congratulations to you, Adam, Thank you. for being today's big winner. Yes. Now you send him the laurels for him to put up on his Facebook page and all that, right? The, the whole... oh, that's official. Actually, we send actual laurels, and he wears oh. those around like Caesar. Exactly. We get some pictures and make public appearances. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got to wear we them. Add it to the tour. Oh, did you want to see the reincarnation of Caesar? <laughs> we have that in mid city. Uh, yeah. Andy's <laughs> playing the piano like Burt Bacharach. And then there's a chair on top of that. And that's I'm, I'm there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know what the cesarean March is uh, for yeah. that, but I can't wait to hear it. Adam wave out, wave out the window. I got a group here. who want to see the winner. of. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on guys. Hold on guys. Yeah. Does the, very yeah. good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, good space work, too. I like the phone coming yes. up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. All about the bits. Um, well, gentlemen, uh, is there anything you want to plug, promote? Uh, and seriously, yeah. though, <laughs> <laughs> Paul, let us know when that gets up and off the ground. I'll happily plug it on the show. Oh, yeah. I mean, hopefully uh, within the month. I mean, because I'm, I'm done with my part. <laughs> Waiting on the city. So, again, I just don't want to get pulled over and have to have a – yeah, yeah a la carte, a la carte so movie locations. Yeah. Yeah. You just go down that list and you're like, oh, the gunshot <laughs> from Pulp Fiction. Yeah, I, I want to see that and the tunnel from Terminator 2. Uh, if they're right next to each other, awesome. <laughs> Honestly, it sounds like such a stream because Anna and I had planned a 2020 LA holiday. We had flights and everything and then it all got shut down. It right. sounds like such a perfect version of what we would have wanted it to do where we were just going to hire a car and go and do it ourselves based on my research. I did that um, in London. All the love action, oh, really? Bridget Jones Diary, and uh, the other one, uh, Notting Hill locations you could possibly find. We went out oh, to wow, like, okay. mountains and buildings and markets and whatever. Yeah, huh. Huh. there you go. Well, anyway, I, what I'm what I'm saying is, I'll obviously, uh, you know, I hit you up when I'm on my, you know, yeah, when you do the makeup, 100 like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, can't, can't, but and you get a host like Paul Preston, you know. I mean, come on, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. It's a win-win. Yeah. Um, all right, gentlemen, well, they can find you at movieguys.net for Correct. written reviews and everything across the board. But there's also the Movie Guys podcast, Ford Fiesta, you know, when you guys are in the Fiesta type of mood. <laughs> <laughs> and Monday Movie Nonsense every Monday. Now, how often is the Movie Guys podcast? Well, that Movie Nonsense is every week, okay. every yeah. Monday at 3 o'clock. And then yeah, Ford Fiesta comes out. Uh, we put out Frisco Kid. We're on the verge of the more American graffiti. <clears throat> And then after that will be Apocalypse Now. And then you're into the 80s and it just gets, you know, Empire, Raiders, Blade yeah. Runner, yeah. Jedi, Temple of Doom, Witness, Mosquito Coast, Frantic, Working Guys, just a ridiculous run of awesome movies. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, we're right on the verge of that. And that's when we get to them. You know, we yeah. got the, we're going to light a fire under ourselves. Sometimes think, weekly, we're you know, we're going to get back to <laughs> weekly here soon. We kind of took Christmas yeah. off and, and everything. But uh, we've got a couple in the can and we've got a bunch of guests lined up, which is really fun. We've got... Uh, I mean, for, for William Bibiani is going to be on More American Graffiti, and that'll probably uh, post Monday. Um, oh, great. And, and he reached out to us. He's like, I want to talk about More American Graffiti. I'm like, you're the only one. But uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty fascinating movie. I mean, Harrison Ford can have only one minute of screen time and still get in five points and shots, and he proves that in More American Graffiti. <laughs> I mean, when we realized there are movies of his we haven't seen, we just had to correct that. Might as well make a show about it. Because, I mean, yeah. there's six movies, I think, before – American graffiti, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. That, I haven't seen any. What are them. these westerns and things? They just stuck them in, and he's fun to watch. And they're like, fascinating. The we make a whole show out of it—an hour-long show out of uh, out of one line, it, it, fire in uh, time for killing. You know, <laughs> but his line is fire. Damn it, fire. So three <laughs> words, but I mean, it's just so yeah. funny. It's his only three words. Oh, oh uh, movie trivia. Do you know the very first person that Harrison Ford punched on screen in his second screen appearance in a movie called Love L U V? Uh, I've never even heard of the movie. He punches Jack Lemon. It's the very first person that Harrison Ford punches on screen. Uh, National uh, treasure, Jack Lemon. Uh, 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 <laughs> Harrison Ford punches him in the kisser. But, oh, but but before Jack Lemon's career was over, he got to get punched by Harrison Ford, which I don't think a lot of people knew that uh, yeah. happened. It's like a passing of the baton, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. It was in full stat sack Lemon mode, you know. So I think Harrison Ford just kind of goes, "Hey, yeah." <laughs> yeah, that's it's it. lemons that's having the worst day and it gets worse. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not quite like uh, Bruce Dern shooting uh, John Wayne as one of what his second movie or something. Oh, like that. really? That's amazing. Yeah, uh, it's you know, the first time John Wayne died on camera. It's Bruce Dern that kills him. Bruce Dern. Oh my gosh, I never knew this. This is awesome. 
Uh, yeah, that I, factoid away. Yeah. It was like, mm. yeah, Bruce Dern's first or second movie, I believe. Wow. Just left acting school in New York. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I just know that he got death threats for years because he shot John Wayne. Wow. Whoa. Wow. So that was before uh, there was stupid internet. <laughs> yeah. <I think. laughs> yeah. Those are legitimate. They had to write those out, find <laughs> yeah. an address, go buy a stamp. Yeah. Take it to the post office. That's a real, <laughs> dear God, got, man, it's just a movie. And you got a lot of time when you're, when you're writing down, I'm going to kill you. I mean, on yeah, the internet, exactly. boom, that's out there. But in a letter, you got, you know, you got a penmanship and you got to write a first draft Precisely. and all that stuff. Yeah. It's. <laughs> Yeah, Very did they precise. go through more than one? I'm going to kill you. Not harsh enough. Not yeah, harsh it's enough. not, it's not flowing. Who's the words my aren't bitch flowing about this? Yeah, worth 20 cents for his <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Whatever it is <laughs> at that time. Death to uh, Dern. No, nah, it doesn't roll off the tongue. <laughs> uh, oh, gentlemen, uh, thank you so much. Where can people find you uh, online? At the movie, guys. We managed yeah. to get that for Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Other than that, at P. Preston LA. Yeah, and well. at Adam underscore wit is my Twitter handle. All right. I'll have uh, all three of those in the description uh, in the show here. So you can find it on YouTube or cool. anywhere you get podcasts. So please follow them up. Um, you guys were fantastic. We'd ah, love to wonderful. have you back sometime. Thanks for having want. us on. Oh, I want uh, another shot. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> this was so flesh. much fun. So much fun. <laughs> I, rubber match it is. Well, now, <laughs> thankfully, though, we guessed what your sweet spot would be roughly be. Oh. Um, so we have a better Nailed understanding it. so we can, uh, maybe, you know, tailor one even more finally. Okay. Well, I, well, I mean, a Terminator, I mean, I had a fantasy as I'm listening to the, your past shows going, when is Terminator or Fletch going to come up? And I, we got both of this, <laughs> which made me so happy. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, well, yeah, glad it worked out, but, uh, is, uh, it was nice having you guys both on the show. Paul, it's a pleasure to meet you for the first time. Yes, if I, when I'm not sleeping tonight with the Fletch theme running through my head, I'll call you. <laughs> please do. Please do. Oh, Paul's that you? Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> I know it. I know it. <laughs> I'm going to go watch my favorite movie of all time, which has Nebula in it twice. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, all right. Uh, Andy, anything else you want to say before we get out of here? No, just, uh, just thank you, guys. It was great to meet you. Thank and, you, Andy. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm a, you know a fan of the Schmodown, so I've um, I know of you guys uh, very well, and uh, yeah, it was great to have you on. Actually, can I ask the once we stop, can you hang on for thirty seconds? Sure. I just want to just ask something. Cool. Sure thing. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, make sure you follow Andy at sts underscore Andy M, and you can follow me at Matt Nose. That is it for this week's settle the score. We'll see you guys next week with another new edition. Until then, adios.